make it sound like I'm still hung up on you. Exes are nothing special, and Drake sure seems to know about that. Once proclaiming his undying love for Rihanna from their first meeting, Drake now seems to hold her as less than a favorite. That's right. The 36-year-old musician appears to criticize Rihanna and her husband ASAP Rocky in the track Fear of Heights off his recently released album For All the Dogs on October 6th. I think that's what makes the records better, though, because there's something genuine there. We're not, like, forcing some story on people. So exactly what is he dissing her for, then? Let's find out. Drake seems to be referring to Rihanna in the background of the fourth track on his most recent album, For All the Dogs, which was released on October 6th. And it's safe to say he has a lot to vent out. It's tough. It's, I'll be honest with you, it's tough to watch. The song initially starts with the lines, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you. That could never be, leaving little room for doubt about his intended target. Additionally, using the term gyal instead of girl is a nod to Rihanna's Barbadian accent. Whereas the reference to auntie alludes to Rihanna's album, which features the song Sex With Me, is simply him taking things a little too far. Drake then proceeds to discuss how the quality of their intimate encounters was below standard and says that he has had better experiences than those described. Ouch. He mentions the fact that Rihanna and her current boyfriend had traveled to Antigua, which is a Caribbean island located near her home country of Barbados, and how he seems to find that extra irrelevant. Undoubtedly, Rihanna and Drake have been well known for their musical collaborations over the years, producing several chart-topping singles together, including What's My Name and Work. Their romantic engagement, which apparently began in the early 2010s, was marked by periods of being on and off, despite the fact that Rihanna never publicly confirmed that they were dating. Take a look. Uh, uh, yeah, great, great girl. We, we, we had our, our moment and, you know, I mean, um, always, always support and, and have love for her. And but what exactly did Rihanna do that was so hurtful to Drake that it caused him to diss her in such a public way? Well, they were both international stars, both extraordinarily handsome, and both were actively immersed in the entertainment industry. So it appeared like a match made in show business heaven when they got together. Still, in spite of the initial euphoria, their relationship went through some difficult times along the way, and of course, didn't live to see the light of day. Secondly, shortly after Rihanna's traumatic breakup with singer Chris Brown, who had abused her in 2009, the couple embarked on their romantic adventure together. During the month of May, Rihanna and Drake were even spotted getting intimate at a bowling alley in New York City. According to the accounts of many who saw them, they appeared to be a sweet couple who enjoyed one another's company while drinking whiskey and apple juice. Who will ever forget when he actually brought Rihanna on stage and they grinded on each other during one of his Paris concerts and it was pretty hot. Of course, this was just the beginning of their relationship, which consisted of on-again, off-again periods. Rihanna went so far as to ask Drake to compose a song for her, but the finished product was never made public. However, their love affair did not last long at all. Drake admitted to the New York Times in June of 2010 that he felt like a pawn in their relationship, which was consistent with his behavior in his previous partnerships. It appeared as though karma had caught up with him and bit him in places that honestly hurt a lot. And we don't blame him. It was more like, it was more almost like a joke at the time. Not to mention, during an interview that she gave in November 2010 to the radio personality Angie Martinez, Rihanna provided her take on the couple's relationship as well. She acknowledged that they were not completely certain about the nature of their connection. When she was challenged with Drake's claim that she was a pawn, she stated that they did not want to take it any further while there was an attraction between them. And because of the fragile situation that her life was in at the time, she was hesitant to become overly involved with anyone. Maybe next time. Honestly, we get you, girl. But despite the fact that they broke up initially and Rihanna provided an honest explanation for it, they were unable to fully let go of each other. So they carried on working together in a professional capacity, producing successful songs such as What's My Name and Take Care. 
And it is rather ironic that less than a year after Rihanna stated that she was unwilling to get seriously involved with anyone, she made her relationship with Matt Kemp, a professional baseball player, public. On the other hand, it didn't take long for her romance with Kemp to fizzle out as well. It would appear that Rihanna was well aware that Drake was not the right person for her, since she made the decision to move on without any hesitation. Then again, Rihanna and Drake's story wasn't quite over yet when we left off. In July 2011, they got back together and even shared a passionate kiss inside a nightclub in Montreal, Quebec. The following year, they worked together in the recording studio, and the product of their efforts was a smash hit song called Take Care. It appeared as though Aubrey was making a comeback, but Rihanna once again put the brakes on what could have been a full-blown reconciliation. What are you looking for in a man now to wear this cloak? I'm not looking for a man. In a turn of events that took many by surprise, Rihanna even disclosed some private information in an interview with Oprah's next chapter in August of 2012. She didn't address the rumors about her relationship with Drake. Instead, she dropped a bombshell. She said that she still had feelings for her controversial ex-boyfriend, Chris Brown. And that's it. Like, we, we, we love each other and we probably always will. And, and that's not anything that... She also discussed regaining trust in one another and admitted her profound feelings for Brown, referring to him as the love of her life. Doesn't make sense, but we'll try to go with that for now. And then the most awkward thing happened. Rihanna was scheduled to win the MTV Video Vanguard Award in 2016, and Drake decided to surprise her with a monumental performance at the awards show. He expressed his happiness for her by paying for the rental of a billboard that displayed the following message. Congratulations to Rihanna from Drake and everyone at OVO. Even more impressively, Drake took advantage of the opportunity to make a grand gesture by bestowing the prestigious prize upon Rihanna during the broadcast of the ceremony. On stage, he made a public declaration of his undying love for her, adding that she had been the focus of his attention since he was 22 years old and that she was one of his closest friends. She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. Unfortunately, Rihanna clumsily turned her head when Drake attempted to kiss her at the end of his speech, which resulted in him only being able to peck her on the cheek rather than her lips. Cringe. And even though she seemed to appreciate the effort, Rihanna acknowledged in a cover article for the June 2018 issue of Vogue that waiting through Drake's speech had been the most awkward part for her. She expressed her unease with receiving an overwhelming amount of compliments and being the center of attention. Honestly, it should come as no surprise that the on-again, off-again pair broke up once more shortly after the awards ceremony. This time, it happened only two months after the ceremony. In an interview with The Journal, Rihanna stated, We do not have a friendship now, but we are not enemies either. I didn't cause this. But that's not the end of it. In the song, Away From Home, which appears on the last track of Drake's album, For All The Dogs, he reflects on his previous struggles with not just Rihanna, but others too, and the obstacles that he has overcome on his route to success. During the duration of this song, he also vents his annoyance with Esperanza Spaulding and the Recording Academy for favoring her over him in terms of critical praise and elevating her to a more prominent position. For those of you who don't know, Esperanza Spaulding is famous for her outstanding talents as a bassist, vocalist, and jazz composer. In 2011, she won against performers such as Drake, Justin Bieber, Florence and the Machine, and Mumford and Amp, sons to win the Grammy for Best New Artist. So maybe it's just Drake having a thing against women who seem to have moved up and beyond with their lives. Who knows? While that's a just guess that we made, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. To catch us for more, simply hit the bell icon.